This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Okay, so maybe we're supposed to think that he's the evil one or something, but it turns out this is all just a big test for being a robot. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that that he... It's possible that he's also helping them test us. Oh, man. I wonder if he's a real person. It's possible. Well, it's possible. I don't know. Yeah. Set, set AI protocols to seduce. Oh my god, that's, you know, it's so weird <laughs> that you said that, because, like, I was thinking the same thing, and it it kind of weirds me out when we think the same weird things at weird the same time. Weird sexual things? Yeah. No, it's just because we're psychically connected through our kinks. Through our, okay. <laughs> Thought you were gonna say something else, and it was really Our vaginas? Worried. Yeah. Well, our uteruses are synced up. Yeah. Well, no, you went off the, the, off the sink, and... Yeah, what the hell happened? I don't know. Does. We have to put that on here. Why is that there? Hold on. I wonder. So now it does oh, that. Oh, so now we can take that one out. Let's just go inside and see what. Oh, up. maybe then we can grab it. Oh. Wait, but there's the thing. Oh, we have to put the little ball in there instead. <gasps> Good idea. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Let's put it in that one. And put the little ball in that one. And then we can grab the ball maybe through the thing. Yep. Yay! We're oh, smart. I feel so smart when I get things. Yeah, it makes this game is probably super easy, but makes us feel really smart. Well, I mean, we are at the very beginning, so. I know, we're like, oh my god, we're geniuses! <laughs> like, every time I've solved a puzzle, I was like, wow, I solved that so fast. I'm so fucking smart. And <laughs> my instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. Interesting. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. God, this is so fascinating. I know, he's so high. I'm like, wow, you're so complicated. <sighs> What the fuck? I'm so into this robot right now. Okay, let's go get the little ball. I'm just thinking. Okay, so I want to. So we want to get that. Thinking. Oh boy. Okay. What is up? You guys think this is like a joke, but I'm like really sexually attracted to robots. Yeah, it's like. If they're not human, I'm in. But sentient, sentient. Like werewolves, that's okay. But a wolf, no. Yeah. Despite that well, mistake one time. Despite the fact that those are not robots or even related to robots. I'm just saying, if it's, I don't, I don't know, it's just like, must be because I have a hard time connecting to people. I'm like, oh, you're not human? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. How do we get this, can we, can you like, Alright, And you can't. Oh, there. You put the thing there, so that way you can take it through. No, uh. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Okay. But there's a thing above the door, so you'll still be able to power it. Yeah, but. Here, I'll show you. No, you take the one from the other room. Oh. Or you just. No, I'm just thinking. I, I like to think by doing. Yeah. But no, I hear you. But yeah. we can't take the thing from the other room because the door will shut. No. Nope. See? So then put the ball in there. And then you can grab the ball through the door. Put what ball in there? Uh, we can't.
can't. So, okay, so... I, I think we just have to do it a couple different ways. So, don't take that yet. Go into the other room. And go there. Grab that. Oh! And put it in there. Okay. I was like... And then you just have to switch the switch. And then you can grab it from outside the door. Out of ten, how smart do you feel right now? Pretty smart. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, and that now worked. you can put it there and grab the other one. And now... Fuck, I... Switch. This makes me feel really smart and dumb at the same time. Dumb because I'm figuring it out? No. I'm, that's a total joke. Okay. <laughs> that's like... a total joke. <laughs> it's just, just like... Mario is normally the one who solves all the puzzles, so when I get, like, one puzzle, I'm like, yay! No, 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 that's not true. You, you're the, usually the one who gets the puzzles. Yeah. And I'm usually the one who gets the thing, and now you're like, and this is the story. I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> I'm an idiot with my role. It's, it's obsolete. <laughs> So now Stacey's getting all the puzzles and all the storyboards, and I went, what? <laughs> what do I do? Nobody's gonna like me anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's pull that out. Oh. oh! And now we just shoot it into that. I know, goddammit! No, no, no. Stop we... it! Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, this is fun! This is great! I feel like a genius. I'm like, and then I'm also like, Computers can't figure this out. It's just so, kind of like bullshit. One of the things that I remember them talking about when I was like, for when I looked at just somebody who was talking about the game, is that they really tried to make all of the puzzles different using the same things. You know, using the same like ideas and mechanics, but so that it wasn't just like the same solution with a different room setup, kind of. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like. <sighs> What is the extent of robot intelligence or AI intelligence at in this, this point? This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Because if there's a Turing test in which they cannot, because he seems to have that uh, emotional element. Okay, but so... it could just be the inflections that he's been programmed with. Yeah. So it's just, it's confusing because you know how usually robots are like, this is the command center, even if they are given sentience, like kind of like Edie, she kind of talks in that, well, I like. Mean, Data operated with plenty of inflection and sometimes emotion. Yes, but he also never used contractions and he also didn't have quite the right inflections all the time. He kind of had that thing, but he was also given more emotion. So I'm wondering, did they give this AI more emotion in the way he talks in order to throw us off and to make us think that he has more uh, emotion than he does. Because usually the choice is to give them a, a flatter voice but with more of a emotional state to contrast that. But he has a lot of inflection so it makes, it making me wonder, did they do that on purpose to throw us off or make some sort of statement? Like, you never know, really. Oh, this is really pretty too. I'm gonna give this a good look. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I being clear? Um, you're just asking, are you saying that, like, the developers made him talk? Yeah, away? yeah, yeah, the developers. Oh, okay. Not, like, in space to fuck you up. No, 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 I thought, yeah, I, don't, I wasn't sure whether you meant, like, I was still, like, operating in the game universe, so I oh, thought you meant, yeah. like, the people who designed him within the game. Oh, no, no. The people, the, the the developers who wrote this were like, let's give him more of an emotional inflection voice to throw them off, because usually in sci-fi, when they're giving the Pinocchio thing to robots, they give them a flatter voice, like with Data and Edie. Pinocchio like, they both... I want to be a real boy thing. Oh. Um... They give him a flatter voice, but they, you know, Edie, she's very emotional and has a lot of intelligence, but she still kind of talks in that kind of yeah. robot -y way, and Data does too, but he's talking very similar to how a human would have inflection, so I'm wondering if, why that's dip why they chose that. I mean, it could just be that that's where AI is at in this world. I'm just wondering, it's part of me processing through 
where they're at because the AI is there with the emotional inflections, but it can't figure out those puzzles. puzzles. So it's just... It reminds me of... Do you remember the episode of Star Trek where Data is wants to be Sherlock Holmes and they're like, oh, and Dr. Pulaski, the asshole doctor who replaces Gates McFadden in the second season, she's like, well, you can't really solve anything because you're a robot. Yeah, I hated her. Why did they she have her? She was a total bitch. Yeah, she deserves the B word yeah. with her terrible mullet hair. And one, well, she was like extremely like android racist also she says a bunch of like, she was crappy the things worst i was like where is my girl where uh, is she she's like beverly please come back. come back please come back this horrible woman who like has bad skin and a really bad haircut is here and it's just like so bad she's so racist but anyways and thank god prove, she died to prove her <laughs> wrong they uh jordy asks the holodeck to come up with a simulation that can beat data and so it creates uh moriarty the sherlock holmes villain but it, it gives him what i'm just, I'm, just, oh, just I'm like i thought that was cute that yeah it happened. creates moriarty the sherlock holmes villain but it gives moriarty all of the knowledge of like the enterprise so like he controls the enterprise I don't remember this episode. Oh my god, it's a good one. We've watched every single episode. It's probably because you've watched it like each three times. I know, I've watched them all a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got the whole thing and we watched the whole thing together and we're like, it's amazing. It's the best show ever. But in any case, like it reminds me of that because like the holodeck characters, they are simulations. They're created by a computer, but they're, they act just like people. Yeah. So like Data, on the one hand, is like an, an android of intelligence. But I mean, the holodeck characters, like, it can simulate, you know, people. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Because Data's like a real sentient being, while the people on the holodeck aren't, even though they're much more, they're much better at projecting, projecting human. humanness or b projecting realness. Data, like, comes short in terms of your fantasy, but he's real. Mm -hmm. and the holodeck is like, la 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 la, like, I'm very realistic. Like, but that's all just done by essentially like machine learning, like given a de like an infinite data set of you know human culture, the things we've written, movies, whatever. You feed it into the computer, and it can give you like a projection of anything you want, Sherlock Holmes and stuff. Yeah, I just think that's so interesting. That data was more. I hate to use the word human because it's like in my mind, I'm like that's so human centric, but more sentient. Than the things that seemed more sentient, even though he came up short in terms of a lot of things. I don't think it's human centric because his creator was creating him to be like a human. I just don't like the trope where robots want to be human rather than wanting to be a sentient robot. That's mm -hmm. like, that's how I'm always like, no, I want robots to be who they are to the most of who they are. They don't need to be like us, they just need to be like them to the you know, to their furthest extent. Data would correct you and say that there's a big difference between androids and robots. Oh, yeah, you're right. And he would be like, I'm deeply offended. I'm like, oh yeah, my god, Data's like, like me! He'd be like, I'm an android, not a robot. There's actually a big difference between And he'd be two. like, my desires are my business, and if I want to be a human, I want to be a human. You don't need to feel sorry for me. You don't I don't need you to feel sorry for me, okay? And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so anyways. Sorry, we're really into, like, sci-fi and, like, things like that. This is, like, our our favorite thing. Yeah. Sorry. So. Dr. Sochi Oh, Yu. outstanding tasks. Keep calm. Outstanding tasks. Investigate sample. Did you see that? Outstanding tasks. Current objective terminated. Oh, wait, no, I'm talking to the doctor. Um, I'm trying to look at Dr. Sochi and then we'll go through each one. Yep. All right, birthplace, Tokyo, Japan, nationality, Japanese, date of birth, 20... 2200. 2200, February 24th. Exobiologist. She's very close to uh, my birthday, which I will not reveal. But she's very close to, I'm like, Japanese, close to my birthday. <laughs> Exobiologist. Syn synthesis DNA duplicates of sample 937. Synthesize. Synthesize. DNA duplicates of sample 937. So they have found DNA. Investigate sample 937. Classify all life recovered sequence lamp. Okay, so they have found life on Europa. That's cool. That's interesting. Uh, 
Well, DNA doesn't necessarily mean... I, it depends how you define that. Oh, yeah, I was going to say... For people to make the argument that on, on Europa there is life, somebody put the amino acids, acids, which is the basis of DNA, into cold storage for like 10 years to prove that they could form DNA, and then he took it out, and they had formed into the, the basics of a DNA chain. I remember watching this on something, but basically people are like, no, you need it to be hot for them to bond. He was like, no, I think that they can bond if it's cold. It just takes a really long time. So he took amino acids, put it in cold storage for like a super long time, took them out, and some of the amino acids had bonded in a way that could eventually lead towards DNA, which was really cool. So that was proving that there could be life on Titan. Oh, yeah, hold on. Sochi Yu had no children, childhood interests in... Also, if we're pronouncing any of these names wrong... Soichi Yu, Yui. Soichi Yui had no childhood interest in space travel. Instead, he spent his youth studying the life in, in Lake Biwa, near his hometown. Yui went on to study marine biology and chemistry at Kyoto University. After the tragic death of his wife, Rin, he disappeared into his work, re-emerging 11 years later as a preeminent exobiologist. And then Ava Turing, birthplace, Regensburg, Germany, American, 2211, engineer, investigate communications crisis, contact ISA, contact ground team, and review fortunas for diagnostics. Losing her parents at a young age, Ava Turing was sent to military engineering school shortly after graduating. Shortly after graduating, she enlisted in the U.S. Navy and trained as a pilot. Due to her exemplary service record and willingness to leave Earth for extended periods of time, Turing was recruited by the ISA. On the exploratory mission to Jupiter's Europa, Turing's role aboard the Fortuna is engineer and vehicle officer. So let's look at these other peeps. Oh, there's more stuff. So we can look at their locations. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Last location, crew quarters. Sorry. Mi Whoa! Sorry. Whoa. Mikhail Tokarev. Birthplace, Klashino, Klish, Russia, Russian, 2202, doctor, terminate, current objective, terminated, outstanding tasks, keep calm. Oh, go to the other thing. Mikhail Tokarev's father died of cancer at a young age. This motivated him to become a doctor in hopes of helping others. Tokarev worked as a medical doctor in Russia for three years before working for the UN as a doctor in crisis. His role on the Europa mission is chief medical officer. Plus crew quarters and then unknown. Chris McLean, Lunenburg, Canada, Canadian, engineer, current objective terminated, outstanding tasks terminated. Wasn't he asleep? Chris McLean is an identical triplet. Oh, look, that's his brother. Go back. Look. They're identical triplets. I wonder if they made their portraits slightly. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They made, a, they made their portraits slightly different. That's a good, that's good. Uh, that's good. Okay. Chris McLean is an identical triplet. His father is an electrician and his mother is a mechanical engineer. Following in his mother's footsteps, Chris trained as an engineer. The McLean triplets became famous as Chris and Dan took to space, leaving their brother Peter behind. What? Bye, loser. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, an, although an accomplished engineer, his place on this mission was also partly due to the ISA being interested in the long-term effects of space travel. Test results would be compared to those of Peter McLean. Can you imagine being the brother left behind? No, he's probably Team Insight's players. Team Insight, Pokemon thing. Yeah. Oh, that's that's just a, that's just a nice little. Stacy is Pokemon team. racist. <laughs> wait, wait. Location, exterior. Where? Right on Chris. Body temperature. He's negative. outside. He's outside. He's got to be dead. Oh my god. He's dead. He's dead and he's outside. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, he's the only one outside. He's dead. Shit. Sorry, but dude. Okay. <gasps> oh. What's this? What is that? Oh no. Can you go back? From on that? I can't. No? I can't. Oops, we just fucked it. up. Oh well. Ah. 
Uh, Dr. Sarah Brooke, Damascus, Syria, Joint British and Syrian, 2210, exobiologist, classify, objective classified organism, outstanding tasks, classify all life recovered. Sequence sample 1043 to 1387. Sarah Brooke's parents are both scientists. In her teenage years, she was sent to an English public boarding school. Brooke is one of the most eminent exobiologists of the 23rd century for her formative work on the Mars Discovery Project. She was specially requested to be part of the Europa Ground Team. Though only 28 years old, Sarah has touched the surface of two planetoids and spent more time on alien soil than any other member of mankind except the Mars Team. So she's Unknown. basically our, our space bay. Yeah. I think she should be space bay. Alright, Space Bay. They said that, so they said that they were, I saw their thingies upstairs, so I'm a little... They said they were, like, asleep, but... Yeah, except for him, I guess, which means... But I'm confused. They said that this is where we check on the ground team, and that's not the ground team. That's the people that are... Upstairs. Or, or, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're just confused. I'm sure it'll come... Yeah, we, we must be confused. Maybe they are the ground team, and we're just... We, we understand all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's some sort of Easter egg in there that we're like, it's going to tell us something. Graphs. Oh, look at these graphs. Frozen meals. Vegetarian. Consumables. Lettuce. Potatoes. Ice cream sandwiches. Well, that's good. Vacuum sealed snacks. Look at all our medicine. Okay. Uh, lost signal. Can you, hold on, can you click the X button over the lost signal? Oh, we can just turn it off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this game is really pretty. Yeah, let's go over to the right and see if there's anything. So we got a Europa loading bay. Digital audio broadcasting. Space camera. I, it makes me a little worried that the guy is outside, because that's not a good sign. Well. We are touching it. We are touching it. And it's doing a thing. Do we have to touch it and then look at it, I guess? Oh, okay. No, it doesn't seem to be affecting it. It's just... Modules. Europa's base is built beneath Europa's surface, buried in the Macula's ice. Its modular nature allows it to be reconstructed according to the mission's needs at any time. You know, that's kind of cool, and that actually does make sense that they would choose something that's modular that, like, the robots could construct for them. Mm -hmm. Europa's drilling platform is the largest outside of Earth. At 40 meters high, it is one of the tallest machines on any moon. The drill has bored to a depth of over 4 kilometers and recovered over 1 million kilograms of material from deep underneath the surface. This level of extraction is made possible by utilizing the Ashiyama Electric Fusion Reactor. So you guys all know what that means. Obviously, it's pretty... It's pretty cut, cut clear, very clear. Um, if you don't know what it is, you're an idiot who doesn't know anything. But we understand it. Electric fusion, I mean, we practically so, yeah, studied it. We're so fucking smart. What are all these things on the bottom here? Just the screens, I would assume. Europa. Fortuna. That must, that's our little... It can house a crew of 12. It serves as communication and transport link between Earth and Europa's surface base. I thought all those people were asleep, so I'm a little confused. I'm sure it'll be explained that everything's a lie. You know, standard practice. That we're, it'll be explained that we're idiots. Yeah, that's you're what, an idiot. That's what'll be explained. You're an idiot, and uh, you don't know how to keep up with us developers. Jupiter is the second largest physical body in our solar system. It has a large gravitational impact, which stretches and squashes Europa. This creates geothermal energy inside Europa, a source of great heat. This has created a subsurface ocean. 
cool. Space bats. Wait, is this the game that's supposed to be space lesbians? No, that's no. a different game? Okay. Uh, that's, uh... Fuck. I don't remember which one. Yeah, it's a coma. Okay. Your Europa's surface is constantly facing Jupiter as it rotates because it is tidally locked to it. Hold on, I didn't actually, like, understand that sentence when I read it's it. It's kind of like our moon, where the same part no, of the... No, um, I meant, like, I read the words without, like... Reading them without reading them uh, actually in my head. Uh, Europa's surface is constantly facing Jupiter as it rotates because it's tidally locked to it. Though it has now been discovered that the rocky interior rotates separately underneath the ice and water layers. Cool. That's kind of cool. So it's like two concentric circles like rotating inside of each other. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta need to take a break. Okay. <laughs>